Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Today's adventure takes us on Stone Gap. Stone Gap's a moderate trail. It's got some good obstacles, pretty ride, a little bit of mud, and one heck of a camp spot. So stick around and check it out. Doing a series dedicated to trail guides and kind of just ways for people to check to see if a trail is okay for their vehicle to go on, get a little information. Guess what it is? It's just trails. I run trails. I show you what's happening. You're not watching me make coffee. You're not watching me cook food. You're not watching me do any real camping or anything. None of the fluff, all the tough. God, that sounded corny. Enjoy the ride. Here we are at what I consider the end of Union Springs and the beginning of Stone Gap. Stone Gap is completely different and I consider it basically its own trail. But on the internet, a lot of times you'll see this run called the run from Union Springs to Flagpole Knob. Well, Union Springs stops right here. And if you're going to Flagpole Knob, you're going down Stone Gap. When you get to this section for Stone Gap, the personality of the trail completely changes right from the get-go. So know that going into it. Four low, decent clearance. I'm running it on 35s and I still scrape, just so you know. Just get ready. The personality is completely going to change. Enough talking. Let's hit the trail. It's going to be rockier. It's going to be tighter. Going to have some low-hanging branches. And you're gonna start running into a little bit more water. It's not gonna take you long until you'll be in a little mud puddle playground area. All this stuff is optional. So if you're not looking to uh, play in the mud, you can avoid it if you want. But where's the fun in that? Stone Gap is fun. I mean, it just kind of, it keeps you watching. Like, you gotta pay attention on this trail. You're not just driving around, hanging out. You gotta watch wheel placement, watch the trees, and just gotta make sure that you know what's going on in your surroundings. I would not recommend filming YouTube videos while driving on this trail. 
I know. Hypocrite. It's going to have plenty of obstacles to challenge you. You can take this trail in either direction. So if you want to come at it from Union Springs, you can. That's how I'm doing it. If you want to take it from Flagpole Knob, you can also do that. For those of you interested in camping along the trail, keep an eye out for little things that branch off. Wow, nice, nice campfire ring. Look at that. Somebody even has wood up here. Heck yeah, not bad at all. And man, look at that view. Keep an eye out on the left side of the trail. Somebody built a really nice little rock structure. Once you get past that obstacle, you've got a treat in store for you. This is where I've been camping for the last three nights. Nice little spot here. Cell phone reception. A couple fire rings there. fire ring and an awesome view. trail's not over yet, it's still got some surprises for you.
I see a bunch of trails branching out. Let's see what we got here. So flagpole knobs down here. That should be Skidmore Fork, Dunkle Hollow Road, I think. I'm gonna go check out flagpole knob. Then it's time to get down from here, get my butt on the road. Stone Gap, how was it? Man, tons of fun. Good camp spots on it. Um, I mean, it's challenging. Like, I don't know that I would take anything but maybe a stock like Wrangler or up on it. I mean, because it's got some pretty rough spots. All in all, I had a great time on Stone Gap. Union Springs is fun. Also, if you hear somebody talking about Union Springs to Flagpole Knob, they mean you're going through Stone Gap. So keep that in mind. All right, like, subscribe, and notifications. Till next time, enjoy the ride.